Today's video, I'm going to show you the simplest coverage in Madden and arguably the best coverage in Madden right now. And it is the double bracket or zone bracket defense, also known as the double maybe coverage. We're going to show you how to do this out of the dollar formation. Dollar gives us a blitz threat. I'm going to show you a little tweak that you can use at the end of the video to kind of bait your opponent into potentially making some mistakes. Now, a couple key things before we get too far into this is we are going to go into our coaching adjustments and we're going to be turning our auto flip defense play call off. We're going to be putting our auto alignment on base, and then we're going to be putting our flats on 30, our curl flats on five. We can leave our hook curls on default, or you can put them on five or 10, and then still like to go ahead and leave the zone coverage on match. I think that it just helps the zones play a little bit better as good as we possibly can get them to play. I'm using the DB fire to press, and we're going to make every defense look the same, which is really the critical point that makes this defense really work well. Now, if you want to get my entire dollar three two defensive ebook, we have a ton of stuff out of dollar this year. It's really the best defense in the game, the most versatile defense in the game. You can get that full defensive ebook by joining the Patreon in the description. It's only ten dollars to be a member. It also gets you access to several other offensive and defensive ebooks. All the ebooks we've dropped this year, I think, over fifteen different offensive and defensive ebooks, and at this point, literally hundreds of updates for you guys uh, to make you better players. So, if you want to get access to that, the link's going to be down below. Now, the purpose of double Mabel is to help um, basically try to create a zone bracket concept on the sideline. We're going to explain uh, why this is really, really important. So let's say that you are playing just kind of a standard coverage, and that coverage might look something like, uh, like this, basically. Okay, So let's say we're playing just kind of a standard uh, cover three coverage, and we're going to use this guy in the middle of the field. The problem with this is if they... If your opponent runs any kind of compression set to the short side of the field, what they're going to be able to do is they're just going to be able to throw corner routes literally all day long. And you're going to see right here, this curl flat corner gets in a really soft spot, and that outside third is really not going to be able to defend that consistently. Now, the other problem with this, specifically in Madden 24, is we can't run a double Mabel coverage with both defenders pressed on up on the line of scrimmage. This is a big problem, in my opinion. It's it's a massive issue because it limits what we can do from a disguising of our coverage perspective. However, I do want to point out that, as you can see right here, this corner is going to get over the top of a 30-yard cloud. It's also going to get over the top of a stock cloud. It doesn't matter. As long as you press the cloud, it's going to make it not play well. Okay? So how are we going to solve this? The answer is double Mabel coverage, where we're going to have a low flat defender that's going to take away the underneath flat routes, and then we're going to have a high flat defender that's going to take away the corner routes. So we're going to press our coverage. Uh, what, typically what I'll do, but this is I'll press my entire, pinch my entire defense. And then we're going to manually back off both of these outside cornerbacks. This is going to allow them to now play better um, in terms of playing corner routes and crossers. And then we're going to put both of our uh, slot corners on curl flats, and we're going to pinch our D-line and crash down. We want to blitz our user. And the reason you want to blitz your user is if you're only sitting three people, if you have a blitzed user and you have this little uh, kind of bar or arrow above your head, this means you're close enough to the line of scrimmage to be able to engage with them. And it's going to make it so that the offensive line thinks that you're blitzing and you're going to get better sheds. So we'll get better sheds here. And what you'll see is this corner route is now going to get guarded by that deep outside flat defender. So another thing that we have the ability, and this is another thing as to why I believe dollar is so effective, is these slot corners on curl flats are really, really important. If you were doing this out of, let's say, 4-3, even 6-1, or some type of a more compressed defensive alignment, the problem is what a lot of people will like to do against this is they'll try to throw these little quick wheels to the right side. But because we have that slot corner over there, i got to cat click on to make a pick. But as you can see, he's kind of in that area. So um, another thing that we want to be able to do, though, is we always want to have a threat of blitz pressure. So even though we have our defense looks like this, we could do something like this. This is kind of a little bit of an adjustment. But basically, we can put both of our safeties on purple zones, and then we can put both of our outside corners that are already backed off. They're at the same depth, if you will, as safeties. We're going to put them on um, little uh, little curl flat zones. Now, remember, those curl flats are about five yard depth, and so if they're used to, um, you know, maybe they're going to go to a concept like this, send five out. Well, now all of a sudden they're getting pressured, and you have potential to be able to catch and lurk everything underneath. So another way that you can kind of get the same basic principle of this is every now and then, whenever you want to send some pressure, my recommendation would be to go ahead and put your flats back on default 
You could leave your curl flats to five or zero or just put everything back on default. We'll show you a great little blitzing concept out of this coverage shell. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pinch our defense. We're gonna back off both outside corners. Everything looks the same as this point. And we're gonna blitz our user. As you can see from here, we can literally send, um, we, can, we can send a lot of pressure at the opponent. But what we're gonna do now is we are going to hard flat this, uh, this um, middle linebacker. We are then going to um, outside third, this corner on the right side and basically create a roll coverage technique where we're able to do something like this. This is going to allow us to still be able to play both of the hard flats. Because this middle linebacker is coming from the inside to the flat, remember those purples have been taking away those snap throw wheels, so they might be wanting to try to throw to the tight end or something. This is where this could be really advantageous. You could even honestly, if you want to get really aggressive, go ahead and put a hook curl with a deep half defender, and then go ahead and shade everything underneath. This is going to allow you to play really aggressive over the short middle of the field, and it's going to make it so that you jump all their quick reads over the middle. And then by the time they can actually hit something, they're going to be sacked. I want to thank you for watching this video. This has been a great little tutorial here on double Mabel coverage, the purpose of it. It takes a great, does a great job at defending really the outside edges of the field, the numbers, essentially outside the numbers. And then every now and then you can mix in a defense like this where we can go ahead and, and even if you wanted to, um, I would even do something like like this right here. Like I said, I, I love to use the hook curl with this deep half defender and then just shade everything down. And essentially, if you think about it, practically speaking, I'm the vertical hook defender here on the left side. There's really nothing underneath middle that's going to be open. It's a really aggressive way to try to get a stop on a key situation like a third and five. If you guys want to check out my entire $1.32 defensive ebook, go ahead and join the Patreon. Everything is in there. You get access to all of the ebooks. It's only $10 to be a member. To sign up for that, head down to the description and click the link down below.